Hello students, I Rohit Shah, Assistant Professor in Shyamlal College, comes back with the 6th lecture in Mathematics of Finance. The topic that we would be discussing today is annuity. The meaning of the term annuity as per dictionary is annual equal payments. But in Mathematics of Finance, we broaden the meaning of the term annuity from annual equal payments to equal payments at equal intervals. Equal intervals here can be yearly, monthly, quarterly, half yearly or semi-annually. There are various types of annuities but for the content of our syllabus we will limit ourselves to only 6 types. The very first type of annuity is ordinary annuity. Ordinary annuity is also known as immediate annuity. So an annuity is termed to be an ordinary annuity if the first payment is due at the end of first interval. So if we make the timeline for an ordinary annuity, it would look something like this. You all can look that the first payment is made at the end of first year and thereafter we make payments at equal intervals. Therefore the formula for amount of an ordinary annuity becomes amount equals to equal payments that is r multiplied by 1 plus i to the power n minus 1 divided by i where r is the equal payment of the annuity i can be found out by rate of interest divided by m n equals to time period multiplied by m m is the number of compounding done in a year so this is the formula for the amount if the ordinary annuity is compounded m times in a year. We can also rewrite this formula as r multiplied by s n i where s n i is nothing but this formula excluding r. So we can find the value of s n i from the tables which is given in the back side of the box. So at the back side of the book, you can find the table of an annuity in which SNI is given to us. The formula of SNI is this and there are the rates and there are the different time periods for which we can find the value from the back side of the book. So SNI is nothing but the summation of 1 plus i to the power n. Next we have amount of an ordinary annuity compounded continuously. So when compounding is done continuously, m is equals to infinity and when m is equals to infinity we are unable to find i and n as when t will be multiplied by infinity it becomes infinity hence this formula becomes irrelevant so we need to derive a new formula for amount for an ordinary annuity when compounding is done continuously we are not going into the derivation of the formulas we are straight away writing in the formula for the amount of an ordinary annuity when compounding is done continuously so amount is r multiplied by integration of 0 to n e to the power rt dt. So let's try to understand the concept of ordinary annuity by a question. In this question Mr. X wants to accumulate rupees 50,000 to buy a security by depositing equal payments at the end of each quarters for next 5 years. So we all know that he needs to accumulate means he wants it after 5 years. So this is our amount. So, amount is equals to rupees 50,000. We all know that time period is 5 years. So, t is equals to 5. And compounding is done quarterly, which means our m is equals to 4. The worth of money or rate of interest is 6% compounded quarterly. So, our i is equals to r divided by m, which is equals to 0. 15 or 0 0.015 and our n is equals to t multiplied by m which is equals to 5 multiplied by 4 which makes it to 20. Since we all know that amount is equals to r 1 plus i to the power n minus 1 divided by i which we can rewrite as r multiplied by s n i since we know the value of amount which is 50,000 
and we need to find out r r is not known to us so we need to find r so if we need to find r we let it to be r as it is multiplied by s n is 20 and i is 0 0.015 now now we move towards the back side of the book to find the value of s 20 0 0.015 so in the sni table at the back side of the book we get 0 0.015 here and we need to find for 20 so for 20 the value of sni is 23.1236 so this becomes 50,000 is equals to r multiplied by 23.2 uh, 23.1236 23.1236 now we can find the value of r by dividing it from 50,000 and we get the value of r equals to 2162.29 so which means that Mr. X should set, uh, set aside 2162 rupees at the end of every quarter so that he has rupees 50,000 at the end of 5 year to buy a Scotty. Thank you. Now let's do one more question and then we will wind up this topic. So in this question, a bank pays interest at the rate of 6% per annum compounded continuously. So as it is compounded continuously, we all know that m is equals to infinity. Find how much must be deposited in a bank each year in order to accumulate 6 lakhs in 10 years. So time period is 10 years and we know that amount that we need after 10 years is 6 lakh rupees. And rate of interest is 6% per annum since we all know that when interest is compounded continuously the formula for amount of an annuity or ordinary annuity is equals to r multiplied by integrate 0 to n e to the power rt dt in this case we don't know the value of r so r is what we need to find so let's put the values that we have amount we have 6 lakh is equals to r 0 to n and here is time period and the time period is 10 years e to the power r rate of interest is 0 0.06 t dt here we do not put t as we are integrating it because when we integrate we integrate it with respect to a variable which is t therefore we get 6 lakh r will be as it is and integration of e to the power 0 0.06 t is e to the power 0 0.060 divided by 0 0.06 which after solving becomes 6 lakh is equals to r divided by 0 0.06 e to the power 0 0.6 minus e to the power 0 now we find the value of e to the power six, e to the power 0 0.6 from the exponential table we get 1.8221 and the value of e to the power 0 is 1 so subtract 1 here and after solving we get the value of r is equals to 43,790 rupees and 29 paise therefore this much amount should be set aside every year if we want to accumulate 6 lakhs in 10 years at the rate of 6% per annum compounded continuously so now this topic is over so till now we have found amount of an ordinary annuity now we will be looking at how to find out the present value of an ordinary annuity so when interest is compounded m times in a year the formula for present value for an ordinary annuity is equals to periodic payment multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus i to the power minus n divided by i we can rewrite 
this as a and i hence the formula for present value becomes r multiplied by a and i where the value of a and i can be looked from the tables which are in the back side of the book as you move towards the back side of the book in table number 4 you will be able to find the present value of an annuity the formula of a and i is 1 minus 1 plus i to the power minus n by divided by i so here are the rates of interest and here are the time periods a and i is nothing but the summation of 1 plus i to the power minus n when interest is compounded continuously we all know that m is equals to infinity in that case so the formula for present value becomes r multiplied by 0 to n e to the power minus rt dt so now let's try to understand the concept of present value of an ordinary annuity by a question in this question a machine is purchased on installment basis by paying rupees 6000 now and the balance in six equal installment of rupees 10000 each at the end of each half year we need to find the cash price of the machine if the worth of money is 10% compounded semi annually so we all know that cash price of the machine is equals to down payments plus present value of all installments which is equals to down payment is 10000 plus present value of all installment is r a n i which we can find out as 10000 plus r is 10000 a n is the time period so here the time n is the n is equals to 6 r is equals to 10% m is equals to 2 since compounding is in half yearly therefore i equals to 10% divide by 2 that is equals to 0.05 so this is n is 6 i is 0.05 now we move towards the back side of the book in the tables to find the value of a 6 0.05 so here is the a and i table and here is 5% in 5% we need to look for 6 so we get the value 5.0756 so it becomes 10000 plus 10000 multiplied by 5.0756 and after multiplying we get the final value as rupees 60756 hence this is the cash price of the machine there exists a relationship between a and i and s and i we are not going into the derivation of the relationship we are just writing the relationship here so the relationship is i equals to 1 divided by a and i minus 1 divided by s and i so let's try to understand this relationship of a and i and s and i by a question So in the given question the present value and amount of an ordinary annuity of rupees 1 per annum for n years are 8.1109 and this much respectively we need to find the rate of interest and the value of n without consulting the compound interest table which means that we cannot use the table here back side table we cannot use we all know that the formula for present value is equals to r multiplied by a and i which implies 8.1109 is equals to r is 1 multiplied by a and i therefore a and i is equals to 8.1109 similarly we know that amount equals to r multiplied by 
SNI. Amount is given to us which is 12.0061 is equals to R which is 1 multiplied by SNI. Therefore SNI is equals to 12.0061. So we need to find the rate of interest. So rate of interest that is I is equals to 1 divided by ANI minus 1 divided by SNI which is 1 divided by 8.1109 minus 1 divided by 12.0061. So after dividing these we get the values 0 0.12329 and 0 0.08329 uh, and after subtracting we get 0 0.04 which is equal to 4% therefore the rate of interest is 4%. We all know that SNI is equal to 1 plus i to the power n minus 1 divided by i. Now we put the value of i here and get 12.0061 is equals to 1.04 to the power n minus 1 divided by 0 0.04. Now we multiply these two and get 0 0.4802 is equals to 1.04 to the power n minus 1. Now we take n this side so we get 1.4802 is equals to 1.04 to the power n. Now we take log on both side. So log 1.4802 is equals to n log 1.04. The value of log 1.4802 is 0 0.1702.03. You can solve this from the log tables. And the value of log 1.04 is zero point zero one seven zero and after solving we get n is equals to ten years.